Everyone is talking about inflammation without actually explaining what inflammation is. Just like they talk about antioxidants being so good, but they don't explain oxidative stress or antioxidant systems. Inflammation being the hypothetical bad, antioxidants being the hypothetical good. If you look up the definition of inflammation, it doesn't explain much either. A localized physical condition in which part of the body becomes reddened, swollen, hot, and often painful, especially as a reaction to injury or infection. But we know inflammation as the overarching cause for any disease, and there are two simple things to understand pertaining this, the negative and the positive. What negative aspects are present in your lifestyle that are contributing to inflammation, and what positive aspects are present in your lifestyle that prevent inflammation. Lots of inflammatory foods, for instance, uh, contribute to inflammation, and lack of nutrients in the diet, uh, particularly fat-soluble vitamins from animal foods, result in your body not being able to heal and recover uh, from said inflammatory foods. Uh, this is why a carnivore, a keto, paleo, even a vegan diet is typically successful. They remove those inflammatory components, but because they don't acknowledge the positives, the nutrients, they don't work for some people. So negative foods in your diet can be inflammatory stimuli, such as vegetable seed oils, processed foods, high amounts of sugar, but you also have simpler components like smoking or environmental pollutants and toxins that are more obviously bad for you. Some of these aren't directly inflammatory. They may increase oxidative stress, which can then become inflammatory stimuli. So it can be broken down into two components directly inflammatory stimuli versus chronic oxidative stress that results in inflammatory stimuli. Uh, this explains why some people drink alcohol until they are 100 years old and they're just fine, and other people die of liver failure at 40. Uh, it also explains why some people do okay on a grain-fed feedlot beef diet and other people gain 20 pounds and lose their sex drive. I mean, this could be related to people thinking sugar is so bad for you, yet here Frankie Boy is having raw honey in some yogurt every day. The level of inflammatory stressors in the person's environment pertaining to all aspects of their life will regulate how you tolerate inflammation. But where does this inflammation start? Inflammatory stimuli activate intracellular signaling pathways, which activate production of inflammatory mediators, including microbial products, as well as cytokines. Cytokines are small secreted proteins released by cells that have a specific effect on interactions and communications between cells. Uh, Pro-inflammatory cytokines, such as interleukin-6 and tumor necrosis factor alpha, stimulate the inflammatory and autoimmune processes in many diseases, including diabetes, atherosclerosis, depression, Alzheimer's disease, and various cancers. Despite modulating and regulating inflammation, excess inflammatory cytokine production leads to tissue damage, even organ failure, ultimately death. Some of you may be familiar with C-reactive protein, uh, which can be measured in the blood to gauge the amount of these inflammatory substances in our bodies. Uh, this protein raises in blood plasma following interleukin-6 secretion by white blood cells. So wherever there is disease, you're going to see these negative pro-inflammatory substances. There is just too much constant stress in our modern environment that our bodies are unable to deal with. Whether it's following a standard American diet, being in a non-native environment, lack of exercise, our negative lifestyle aspects are astronomically high, plus our diets are lacking the nutrients to deal with those negative aspects. And in most cases, a perfect diet does not fix some of these negative things. As humans, we're accustomed to bee stings and broken bones, not cupcakes and pharmaceutical drugs. Taking this information, we can hypothesize what's happening with every single disease, any ailment you suffer from. Smoking cigarettes will damage the lining of the lungs, causing oxidative stress, leading to systemic inflammation. Alcohol does the same to the liver. Leaky gut can be caused by inflammation in the small intestine, driven by high anti-nutrient plant foods, as well as pathogenic gut bacteria. Now, some of you might be wondering, Frank, how come as a 27-year-old personal trainer, former bartender, you're talking about this, but these super intelligent doctors, dietitians, people in authority aren't? 
they don't want you to be healthy. And that's the unfortunate truth. The for-profit medical industry, big agriculture maintaining control of the food supply, supplement companies, they don't make money off of people being happy and healthy. Heart disease, for instance, is very simple. It's inflammation in the arterial wall, typically from excess calcium and linoleic acid buildup, uh, which is from lack of vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 in the diet, as well as too many vegetable seed oils. But you can isolate every single one of those components, say, okay, well, there's tons of companies making trillions of dollars off statins. How big is the vegetable seed oil industry? Uh, in heart disease, cells become compromised because of this calcium and linoleic acid that these companies are making money off of end up triggering an inflammatory immune response and those cells that become inflamed block your arteries resulting in a heart attack as well as other dysfunctions in the body. But that is a gross oversimplification of the mechanisms. They can be explained much further in depth down to the enzymes, down to the genes. There are thousands of genes, cells, enzymes involved in these processes. This is why people don't understand health. You can't expect someone to be able to comprehend human metabolism at that level. I have a difficult time myself, but am able to relay it to people in a fairly simple way. And it gets very frustrating when you understand these things and people don't believe you because they are not capable of comprehending it. And then you have all these, these big agricultural groups. You have this authority, the medical industry, all these people telling you, oh, no, don't, no, just ignore that stuff. He's wrong. That's not important. They simply don't want you to be healthy. At the end of the day, it's all about money. And there's nothing wrong with making money. It's just these people have no integrity behind what they are selling. They're not selling you grass-fed beef that's going to make you healthy. They're repackaging that feedlot grain-fed meat, telling you it's grass-fed. Oh, you're going to be so healthy. They're giving you these supplements, these powders, these $700 consultations, and feeding you lies. This link between special interest funding and keeping people sick and inflamed you know, it's very relevant to this inflammation topic. I was fed a soy formula as a child, tons of money in these poisonous formulas, and I was allergic to that formula. The inflammation from that allergy gave me insomnia as a baby through some mechanism, which impaired my development, giving me things ranging from permanent under eye bags to a smaller bone structure. Everything can be explained in this way. Something's being very complicated, sounding far-fetched. You know, what if I told you no one should be wearing glasses or braces? You know, optometrists and orthodontists would be out of business. Other things being simpler, like estrogenic herbicides in feedlot meat causing infertility. When you look at any disease from this viewpoint, what we said earlier becomes true. The further we step away from our ancestral diets, from how humans are supposed to live, the more unnatural we become, the more we have to be aware of these non-native aspects and address them in three ways. Logically, scientifically, and ancestrally. Unfortunately, these corporate special interest groups will say things like this to sell you collagen powder that you can sprinkle on your steak, to sell you nonsense and keep feeding you those lies. Ask any doctor in the carnivore community what they think of antibiotics. Unfortunately, these doctors still appeal to authority. They still appeal to things like the RDAs. They are unable to question things, therefore compromising, truly fixing people's health. And these preconceived notions, the special interest funding, this modern conventional wisdom is what's holding us back. Even so, people overlook the simple stuff. Diet, exercise, sun, and sleep. There are some unfortunate who, despite being aware of the former, may fall victim to unknowns like pollutants in the food supply, heavy metals, even molds, perhaps being misled by those doctors telling you to take certain pharmaceutical drugs like Accutane, which I took, that destroyed my health. So thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and above all, please guys, share the video if you can. If you guys do want to support me further, you can check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, bringing you high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. You can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Uh, if you want to go to frank-stefano.com, if you're interested in my consulting services to improve your overall health, check that out as well. Thanks again for joining me guys and enjoy the rest of your day.